Dude. What's up, everybody? Squeaky. Oh, good to be back. Good to be back. It's been far too long. Uh, it's been like two weeks. Two weeks? Two weeks. Three weeks. Two Three episodes weeks. down. I uh, managed to squeeze in an episode to do with salt nicotine. So for everybody yeah. that re-watches this and they see that, definitely go head over to our YouTube channel and check out the video on salt nicotine. Now there's a lot to cover as far as salt nicotine goes. There is a lot. Um, and then there's, to make it more enjoyable to watch, there's a lot that you can miss. So I had a lot to talk about. I actually didn't even expect that video to be 18 minutes long. And that would, I cut out I a say, lot. You cut out heaps. I cut out heaps to get it down to 18 minutes. So I, I probably blabbed a bit too much. You never blab. Never blabber blabber. <laughs> so how we generally do this guys is when it comes to our live streams is we focus on the rewatch. Uh, so mm -hmm. we don't really get a chance to to engage too much. It's just for people that rewatch the stream because it ends up being about three times the amount end up watching the stream in their own time, which we fully mm -hmm. embrace. It's kind of like a TV episode of All Clouded. Yep. Um, so we focus it on that. So we're looking at introducing a few things that can correlate over to people when they talk through the stream and that um, just to keep everything kind of flowing and stuff. So first, what are we jimmy jamming on today? What are we vaping on? Oh no, what's on the schedule? On the schedule. So we're going to be discussing Palmy Vape Day, um, how that all went. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> we have some questions from last week's show that we're going to answer that we kind of went sifted through and um, have written down. We've got all clouded updates as per usual. Um, upcoming stock. Yay. Stuff to be excited about. Um, we are touching on... Um, a blog post that was put up this week um, by Vaporum. So we're going to have a little discussion about that and some upcoming reviews that we've got. Boom. There it is. There it is. So to start us off, mum. Yeah, mum. Yeah, dad. What's first? What are we vaping on? I'm vaping on the new new. I just got the drop dead. If any of you seen my post on Twisted Clouds, very matchy matchy, a little bit of a different purple, but I'm still digging it. I'm liking Hell it yeah, so far. Hell <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyone else got one yet? Hell yeah, yeah. Or is, or is mum the first? Uh, before we go into anything else, uh, first impressions on the drop dead, because there's been a lot of hype. Everybody's hyping mm. it, which I would say would be 80% of your community. And then there's also... Um, a few people that are like, it's more or less the same thing and they're capitalizing on the fact that, you know, they can use the name and the reputation of the other ones. What's your first impressions? It looks beautiful. Like straight off the bat. I mean, the packaging was nice. It just looks beautiful. It really does. I mean, I really liked the look of the, um, the dead rabbit. I didn't like the airflow, so I never really, um, went to it, I guess. But, um, I love the drop. No. The drop, yeah, the drop, but um, I thought it was ugly. <laughs> the drop, like, yeah, the drop. I think the, the air didn't holes like the, on the, the droplet. look of the drop, um, but I like because they're it all looks quite like square, eh? Yeah. Like I understand why they're square, but yeah. it's like aesthetically, it's not a ple it's not pleasing to all. No, looks. it's like the dead rabbit looks really nice. The drop. I think on box mods gross. and some tubes. They're all with that square shape oh, yeah. kind of look, but like box mods. But if you've got like quite a curvy mod. Well, maybe it's because you got the two-toned one that I didn't like. I, I do like the look of the drops um, with the new colours that come out. Like just the, you know, the one colour. But oh, you, yeah, you originally far. got the two-toned one. Yeah, just, only the yeah, two-tones were released. I didn't dig it. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it pisses me off when they do that. Like I understand why they do that, but they release limited colours. Yeah. And then they release, I mean... Fuck's sake, like, you've already like brought one, so now you've got to go and buy all yeah, the other and, colors. Yeah, and that's why. It's a trap. It's a fucking trap. <laughs> fucking, a trapping are you, you listening to us, guys? It's a fucking trap. You're trapping us. But, but then we're the dumb At least you know if you like it. Like, I think I own like four or five drops and like four or five dead rabbits or something like that. It's kind of just one of those you things. You got like one each of the two tones, so the, the silver and black and the Yeah, black I had to do it that and way. And then like. I had to get both of the colors of together. the drop to make them look. Yeah. The same. That's how like yeah. that's how much I enjoyed the drop. You did. 
I yeah. do. I arm. You, you do. Um, you so do. I'll do a bit of shout out to everybody that's in chat. Shout out to Shane, Brendan, Dunk, um, Jess. Uh, shout out to B. Shout out to Jean. Um, everybody, uh, we are dual streaming, so we're on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, so fancy everybody, slaps. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're being pretty fancy. Um, good thing is with YouTube, we can repurpose and share. Um, with Facebook, you know, it's by far the hub of our community as far as online. Um, you know, it's a perfect platform for it. It's an easy way to contact and stuff like that. And for the most part, everybody keeps it pretty civil. Um, on the Facebook group pages and stuff like that. So Facebook is always key um, for everything. Shout out to Kim. Sup, Matt. Um, so did you do what you were vaping? Sorry, I kind of interrupted there. <laughs> yeah, the drop dead in my, in my purple duck. Yes, the purple people leader. Yes, I'm a fancy slap. She is a fancy slap. Yeah. Anyone else? Anyone else using the drop dead at the moment? Any takers? Yeah, I'm, I'm fully claiming that I'm the first one. She's... So. She's allowed. Yeah. <laughs> um, so my turn, what am I vaping on? I've got something that I am very... So it's 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 dumb, but it's got... It's mean to me. So, like, I've got my paranormal. But on top of here, we'll see how well you guys can see this. I've got the Azeroth Triple RDA. Now, I've wanted one of these for so long, and I always kept forgetting to buy one. And then all of a sudden... They don't make them anymore and then you can't find them and then i ended up i put it out to a few of the fam out there and i was like if anybody comes across one you have to shout out to me you have to like we even had like bros on snapchat other vendors and stuff like really trying to track these bloody things down yeah and i, w I, I would prefer to buy it locally than buy it abroad even though kind of weekly and daily we're buying stuff abroad or just rather well, money circulates somewhere in here and we managed to come across it so why is this so cool to me it is similar to like how your drops and your dead rabbits are a bit of an elevated post but three quills so i want this Fancy. for cloud comps but arguably just three quills are so much better i mean you can put three or four coils in anything but this thing's actually physically designed for yeah, it. i remember you doing that the three coil building the drop and the flavor, wide bore, wide open, the flavor is, is insane. It's bloody second to none. Um, so I'm really, you know, I picked up for $30 too. So shout out to Dan, Dan Sinclair, <laughs> my man, um, for tracking that down for me. You're a legend. 30 bloody dollars. I was willing to pay a lot more uh, to track one down, but picked yeah, it up 30 bucks. Crazy about it. <laughs> Pretty damn stoked. And it was absolute great condition. There weren't, There was no chips. There's no like broken o-rings and everything so that's a bloody good score um fire amit mouth to lung absolutely love these things um and in my things i've got appleberry from pj vapes and i have I got green pulp um you can see how much i've been attacking this look at that label um <laughs> green pulp if you guys love uh apple or kiwi fruit kind of vapes kiwi fruit in this is just outstanding um ken from elite vapor definitely check them out if you're Super interested in this it's probably one of the best kiwi fruits that i've tried as far as you can all day vape it mm. and you it's can thoroughly smooth. yeah i'll vape that smooth. normally i only do like 10 or so mils and then i switch flavors uh 30 mils max i've done that solidly and i'm gonna do the entire bottle uh, it's been He's a gonna do it <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna it. do it. It's been a smash hit in, in fully um the green pulp. They absolutely oh, yeah. love it. Can't keep it pulp. on the shelf, eh? <laughs> yeah, definitely. But me, I'm slutting around with my juices. I'm I'm on three at the moment. So I've got the brain sturgeon by Get Hooked, Camilla. She's a goddess. Um Sticky Fingers, the Granny Smith one. It's very intense. It's taken me a while to get through it because it's like super yeah, super sickly. Sticky fingers. Sticky fingers. Um and yeah good old patchy mama strawberry guava and jackfruit i love it i love it that is really good it is so nice it's really good uh what is it apple nectarine strawberry no that's the other one that i like as well i like them all oh what was that one that's the strawberry guava and jackfruit. Oh, strawberry yeah. guava. this is like my second fave because jackfruit from what i've seen on group pages jackfruit's becoming quite popular mm. um jackfruit i've um, never vapes. really had jackfruit vapes before I think first one I tried was when Sean Drum come here. Wacko Jacko. <laughs> Wacko Jacko. Wacko Very Jacko. good. I, I, yeah, I dug that one. I dug it. Right, next. Let's move on. 
Palmy Vape Day. Palmy Vape Day. Wow. What a day. Um, it was fucking cool. Uh, we were here till... I was doing a lot of, like, all-clouded stuff. Um, it kind of never stops. Um, anybody that's in the <laughs> industry, you know, when we kind of sleep, China wakes up. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, Harms has been doing a lot of networking overseas at the moment, so now she's going through it. Yeah. Um, they're just spamming yeah. her phone and stuff. It doesn't really stop. So anyway, we're at the shop, and we pulled out our tables, and we were kind of laying stuff out. Yeah. And then and I'm a planner. <laughs> yeah, so mum was laying everything yeah. kind of out. And then taking pictures so I knew exactly where to put things. Yeah, we were here till about 2 in the morning, maybe. <laughs> yeah, about Yeah, that. probably about 2 in the morning. Um, we got up. That's why I look so terrible the next day. <laughs> um, we had troubles trying to get the tables to palmy, so we wanted to back everyone up and make sure there were extra tables just in case. Yeah. And um, then we couldn't get the tables over, you know. Don't buy a bloody Evo because they're not good for events type stuff. But we end up getting my Valentine's like, Day present. We end up getting friends <laughs> into Evos. you know in their cars and then yeah. family movers and everything. But we managed to get to Palmy Vape yeah. Day. Um, the rush was was quite rushy in the morning for everybody to set up. We were yeah. pretty limited. Um, so the vendors that that attended and stuff, um, you know, hats off to to everyone. Because, you know, we're really limited in the amount of time that we could actually set ourselves up. And once everyone was kind of in position, um, we were pretty fortunate that we caught a minute and we were able to go catch a feed. Um, us and Sean Drum, Fate Force. Food is life. Food is life. <laughs> Food is life. Yeah, no, that was really cool. We, well, we didn't want to be hangry. Worked. No, no. Didn't want to be it hangry. It worked the, the pre-planning so we knew where everything was yeah, going. It was so kind we of... were just like, bam, put it on the table and then food. Yeah, yeah, and we managed to catch feed, come back, um, and then just embraced it. It was a, it was a good event. It was, um, you know, there was yeah. there was uh, the best part as far as like events go. Say say from a vendor's standpoint, um, we're not there to sell stuff. We are purely there to brand. Um, yeah. Brand, not like even though brand and marketing kind of comes in the same thing. We're purely establishing establishing brand that that. These are the people behind the faces, behind the streams, behind the Facebook posts, but the the people behind yeah. the clouds. I think that's the most important <laughs> people thing. People behind the clouds. That's a good it's, one. <laughs> it's kind of like who we are, and and you know, I really like when when uh, at vape days and stuff, and talking to people um, about more than just vaping. Yeah. You know, getting to know people as soon as you know we get a moment to engage and get into conversation. I want to know how many kids you got. I want to know what you do for a living. I want to know. I want to know all that stuff because yeah. day in day out we're always seeing vaping stuff, group pages, yeah. and everything like that. It's cool talking about other shit. You know. Oh shit, yeah. Like I learned that someone was a lawyer, and I'm like. Yeah. What? <laughs> He's gonna. Come I need handy. you. <laughs> like I need you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I may need you one day. It's the best part about vaping, you know, when we can get the community aspect and we can get offline for a moment. Uh, just a moment in life, um, let everything kind of And live in the moment, like, you know. For sure. Just live in the moment. For sure. Tons of juice, tons of mods, that's always a given. Um, but but the people behind the clouds, that's yeah. kind of, you know, these are all kind of material possessions yeah. at the end of the day. I liked seeing people that I'd seen online. And, like, I'm a lurker. I, I'm just, like, in the background. I'm like, you know, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. She sees Pe everything. Peeking her. I see, I see all y'all. <laughs> I see you. She's, I see you, girlfriend. She sees him. I sees him. Um, so it was like really cool, and it's like people were coming up, and it's like I I freaking know you. Like I already know you. I know yeah. I know everything about you. But tell me more. <laughs> yeah, hard out, hard out. Cool. It's it's amazing. Um, it was good to see a lot of people from fielding um travel over. Um, yeah, that was really cool. We held off a lot of people as well. People were coming in and we were going like, just come to Palmy Vape Day, man, and you're going to get it all for like 10, 15 <laughs> bucks cheaper. Like, if you're going to buy that mod, come to Palmy Vape Day, yeah. you know, a $10 ticket, I and you're going to we save were, like 80 bucks. And we were like shouting shit. tickets too, so that heaps of our Philly peeps would come. Hey. That was cool. Daddy I mean, we're not far. Generous. So everybody needs to know that fielding is not far from Palmy. We're 10, 15 minutes away. But the... It's a different demographic. It's yeah. a community-based town. It's a rural-based town. We've only got farmers and freezing workers. That's all we got here. All of, you know. But in, for the most part, you know, that's the kind of culture and fielding. It's eat and drink piss, you know. And that's yeah. what people kind of like doing in fielding. So to get them to actually head over, even though it's 15, 10, 15 minutes away, mm -hmm. it's a different, um, you know, it's a, more of a city style over there. So, yeah. you know, that was good that um, we saw a lot of our fully peeps in there and also people that we wouldn't think would go to a vape day. 
was oh, actually shit, quite yeah. surprised. We had a few people that we, you know, we didn't really think yeah. it would be their thing. It's like you mentioned it, like, I, you know, we, we mentioned it all the time in the shop and then it's like they showed up and you're like, what? Yeah, it's like, fuck yeah, you did. You know, <laughs> Cut out. Fucking good on you. And they're like, I'm here, guys. I think yeah. they were even shouting me drinks and I'm like, I can't drink. I'm on duty. But I did. <laughs> <laughs> of course you did. Hard out. Well, I did get a Coke brought to me. Thank you, Vanessa. And I thought it actually had bourbon in it. I'm like, fuck yeah. And then it was just Coke. And I was like, damn. Oh, yeah. It was a smash <laughs> hit. Um, thank you to everybody that attended. Um, Cut out. It was nice to meet y'all. This fancy slut took out the card comps. Yeah. But hard, though. But hard was a bit of a weird positioning and stuff. <laughs> but nevertheless, took out the open class. And the single and specific. And the met class. Yeah. Uh, pretty damn stoked with that fam. Yeah. So that, that was pretty cool, um, yeah. you know, kind of highlight of the night. I won a bit of apparel too, clothes, hats, all that kind yeah. of shit. Yeah, what do you need? Yeah, I like, always <laughs> like, you know, like some something to wear, yeah. especially if we, you know. I like to think I had a hand in that with my mental. She was punching. threatening no, everyone. I was not. She was threatening everyone. Um, by then it's was like not. our table wasn't up, so we were <laughs> able to drink, you know, and then she was like talking about shanking people and no you know. throat punching it's much more civilized <laughs> throat punching throat punching niggas i'm like you know if you win i have to throat punch you <laughs> and then they're like really i'm like i'm not it's the rule it. <laughs> johnny muse knows <laughs> oh he'll, yeah i threw it into throat punch him he'll too. pop a throat punch <laughs> yeah. stand up against daddy you're gonna get a throat punch <laughs> that was hawk's bang that was <laughs> brett nixon too ah yes throat yeah, punch throat punch yep. you yeah <laughs> Just yeah, yeah. All start y'all. dabbing on all of them. If well, you, when it comes to daddy, if you beat I'm daddy, you get a throat, throat punch. <laughs> oh god, but you're super lungs. Super lungs. Super super lungs. Right, move on. Yes. Um, questions from last week. Question from last week's show. What was the question? Uh, Tom Gossage. What will happen with legislation and regulations based around e-liquids? Big one. Massive, massive topic. Uh, so what we do, we rewatch the streams, we pick out key points, we get the timestamps. So all the streams are based um, to keep the streams flowing. Uh, for anybody that's missed it, we focus it for the rewatch and stuff. So we go back, we timestamp it. Um, for anybody that wants to skip certain sections that can't bother watching, uh, and then we're also going to target out questions that are interesting topics that people might be, um, you know, interested in. So Tom. Gossage asks <laughs> um, about what will happen with legislation and regulations based around e-liquids. So this is a huge topic. This is arguably with batteries and stuff. This is the lifeline of vaping. It's our pretty much our tobacco. You know, our kind of like when you buy tobacco and you smoke, it's our e-liquid and stuff. So. Things that will happen with regulations and stuff. So obviously at this point, I'm just kind of saying out what I know and what I've heard through the grapevines and then you learn the little whispers behind the doors and stuff. Uh, We're almost certain going into lab environment. If we weren't going that way, we wouldn't bloody have them everywhere. People wouldn't be building them. People wouldn't be focused on them and stuff. So it brings in an array of things. Um, You know, how are they going to regulate that as such? Is this level of lab enough? Um, how much money needs to go in I don't think it's going to be an overnight thing so everybody needs to remember that I don't think it's going to they're going to go here and then bam you know shut it down it's it's too much to deal with it's too much work for a government agency to kind of to kind of go with there will be things overnight that will instantly change that's kind of just a given but um you know as far as far as from the vendor side it makes the vendor side a little bit more stuff that we have to do as far as the vapors go the community i doubt you guys are going to see much difference in anything you're going to get um you know a guaranteed level of quality when it comes to your products and stuff you've got absolutely nothing to worry about they're not going to shut down vaping overnight uh, what you're most likely going to see is a set kind of level when it comes to e-liquid and that mm-hmm. it's just going to be at some form of base rate the- <coughs> which is a good yeah, it just everything's gonna just sit somewhere, and then the defining factor between the different e-liquids and the different companies and the different vendors that are making and manufacturing and designing e-liquids and that is going to be a their marketing and and b 
their recipes. That is going to be the defining factor because when money is out of the equation and everything is leveled or somewhat leveled within some kind of reason, it's just purely based on how good they are at doing their damn job. So the, the community is not going to be affected. You may pay a few more dollars than what you're used to when it comes to specific lines and everything like that. But for the most part, the community, you guys don't have to worry about much things. It's just going to be um, the retailers and the manufacturers and all that kind of thing. Uh, but everybody's pretty clued up on it and they've been preparing this for a while. Uh, yeah. legislation's taking a bit longer so it's buying a bit more time for everybody to get prepared in that kind of sense it's a lot of back talk as far as whoever we talk to behind the scenes there's a lot of back talk about it going on in the in the you know the corridors and everything we're very aware and we're all getting pretty prepared in that so nobody has to worry nothing's going to shut down overnight but it's almost certainly going to lab um, mm -hmm. we can't really be the only guys that aren't doing lab um, yeah. there's a lot of things just look at other countries that's how it's going to be basically you know they're just going to take things from specific countries and adopt it regulations as far as shops go and everything like that we don't really know um, we can only speculate at this point um, e is a bit more easier to kind of see where it's going to go um, but as far as everything else it starts becoming a little bit difficult um, and we're likely to see it change again and again and again and they're going to keep changing regulations 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 so and, many regulations until they fucking leave us alone basically <laughs> until they just get sick of us and they leave us yeah. alone for the most part it's non-smokers and non-vapors putting their nose all up in our shit you know not from saying from so the much. industry um side i'm speaking from the community standpoint from a vapor's perspective uh, myself as a vapor first Fucking leave me alone. Just let me vape my shit. I'm not hurting yeah. anyone. I'm very yeah. courteous when I'm out in public. I just want to be got left that alone. You vapor's etiquette. Yeah, just vapor's etiquette on lock, you know. Just keep that shit on lock. And then, you know, we kind of just drift along, you know. The more yeah. attention we draw to ourselves, you know, if people start blowing themselves up with mech mods and being idiots, mm. we're all going to get screwed in the ass. Yeah. You know, that's just the basic note on any industry in general. Your own human ear is going to wreck it. The reason why they did all the stuff with external wastegates on cars, everybody driving down the street, <laughs> pissing off the neighbours, cool, let's fucking ban it, you know, let's, <laughs> let's green sticker all your cars and shit, you know, the yeah. same thing's going to happen in vaping if people kind of don't get their etiquette on lock and, you know, end yeah. up making and mistakes green and Green sticker stuff. your timekeeper. <laughs> Yeah, mum. I might. Yeah, mum. <laughs> that was a good one. Green sticker, your fucking mech mod. Yeah, they might give us the green stickers. Yeah, and then none of us are allowed to sell them. Yeah, yeah. We have to green sticker y'all as you come in. You never know. You never know. You never know. Right, next, next up. You done? No. no? What were we talking about? Oh, I know what we're talking about. That was the question. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. So yeah, that was that the one. Yep. So all clouded updates. Hit me with that shit. Hit you with my rhythm stick. New juice lines. Uh, new, juice lines. new juice lines. What's new? We got Charlie's chalk dust. Yeah, buddy. Uh, got Charlie's chalk dust. Um, there's tons of flavors in Charlie's chalk. chalk, chalk. How many flavors? We haven't even made our way through dust. them. Ourselves. Haven't even made yeah. way through everything. Um, there's some really little secret, interesting ones in there. There's a coffee and a donut. Um, it was weirdly nice. It's like the donut with an it. aftertone of coffee. Um, yeah. Very, I dug very, it. very I good. Dug it. Um, I really like the pear cobbler. Cobbler, yeah. They also have a, a cheap range in it. Which one was the cheap range? This one? No. The something. Um, it's in a blue box. Double blue, eh? In the, mm -hmm. it's, it's like 35 bucks for 100 mils. So 35 bucks for 100 mils of imported line. Phenomenal. Good pricing, you know, on par with um, Kiwi's prices and stuff like that. Um, and they're good, they're damn good flavours in that, eh, man? Yeah. I would just like to shout out to Hadley, who was driving, and he has now pulled over, and he is watching our stream. That's, that's dedication. That's commitment right that's there. That's a free fucking yeah. juice. That's a free juice. <laughs> <laughs> that's a free juice. That's a free juice. <laughs> like, wow. That's Humble. dedication right there, chewing the data <laughs> Someone's for the like, thing. aren't you driving? Or Matt's like, aren't you driving, Hadley? No, he's pulled over. He's... He's watching us. <laughs> Very cool. Right. That, that was Charlie's. Any more? Any more? Um, juice. Um, I'm a stick to what I know person. So. Oh, we got Cloud Chaser in. Yeah. Cloud Chaser. Oh, yeah. Um, that was um, yeah, that was sent down to us. Um, Cloud Chaser. So we've got like peach, 
peach and blueberries, um, berries, yeah. orchard fruits, orchard citrus fruits. fruits. Um, there's some tobaccos in there. I don't bake them personally, but I'm going some people to are try interested. Them. I'm not a tobacco person, but I like to know things about tobacco because I find it's it such hard. A, I find them extremely big, hard to vape, yeah. especially the ones that are really close to cigarettes. They mm. just make me feel my tummy literally turns when it, anything that reminds me of a smoke. So I find them really hard. Most of the time, when it comes to tobaccos, I throw them at people that um vape tobaccos yeah and i just say like what kind of cigarette does it taste like or is it sweet or is yeah. it um whatever does it taste like an ashtray because that's you've kinda... got your you've got your your old mate yeah i got yeah. i got my old mate he's my little <laughs> veteran i just load him up with yeah. tobacco flavors but he like comes back and he is just he's... like everything yeah he's quite it's a connoisseur sweet. when it's it comes mix between <laughs> yeah. american and yeah blah, blah, blah. he's got them he's got them yeah. pretty on lock and stuff yeah. plus he's very he's very cool he's a hip old dude i like freezing worker yeah. Hard That's fucking worker. <laughs> killing yeah. shit all day. Oh my god. Um, right. Any more juice? No nope. juice. No, no more. Right. Uh new hardware. What we got? Aegis Legends and some new colours. Yep, I got Aegis Legends and Colours. Same kind of thing when they release something and then they bring out colours, you yeah, know. No. Good to see you doing it, but shit should have done it, it from all at once. Yeah, man, load us up. Um yeah. I suppose they fill out market or whatever they're called, but we got Aegis Legends and Colours. Uh, Emmets, mouth, Emmet, mouth to lungs, man. If you guys are if you guys are digging and you guys are getting into salt nicks, um, you know, going over to um, you know, things that have got you know small cores and all kinds of shit, man. Dripper, you'll get no leaks whatsoever. It's only a mouth to lung anyway. Like I'm vaping like sixteen watts, so I'm not loading it up and cloud chasing. So even just getting it a little bit, you know, getting it a little bit moist. What's that word? It it a, just getting a, a little bit moist, moist is enough that you can put it in your pocket and it's not going to leak and shit. And the flavor, God damn, the yeah. flavor is insane. Flavor. The airflow comes from here and it goes down and up. Um, so a lot of people pick them up at Palmy Vape Day and stuff. Just in general, scan someone's shit online if you um, are looking at a way for saving juice, like a juice and salt nix, high milligram can last me weeks, weeks and weeks and weeks yes. in this kind of thing. So that's a way for myself to reduce the amount of consumption mm -hmm. when it comes to e-liquid. But uh, from what I've tried, I haven't tried much. There's a lot of people that dive really deep into mouth and lung and that, but this thing, I don't need anything else. That's kind of what yeah. I'm saying. And, and you enjoy yours as well. Eh? I would just like to add that I found them. Oh yeah, she was the first. And I was like, don't get that shit. And then she's like, nah, no, nah, well, like, yeah. she's like, Can fuck, I I'm going to get one myself. And she got it. And then I was like, I kept, I kept using it. it. So then I had to get one. And then after yeah. I got one, I was like, I need to share this with the world. <laughs> it's important that the world has a try on these yeah. Emmet mouth to lungs. The flavor is incredible. I'm so good um, at getting things. I'm the best. She's a good dad. I'm a good dad. Right, moving on. Polar. Is that the Polar? Polar. It's freaking cool. I'm but still yet to get, to get one. I want one myself. Um, but everyone else kind of comes first. <laughs> like me. <laughs> so once kind of like our go, gets one. once our go-to fans, <laughs> you know, our, our our supporters and that, once yeah. they kind of get theirs, then yeah. I'll be I'll be able to get one myself. And yeah. no doubt, Hams will get one. I want something that I can bash up, and if I drop it, um, and it breaks, I'm not yeah. gonna cry. It's research. It's market research. Bony That's bony. how you write it off. <laughs> Right, triple V2 tank. Triple V2 tank. I love the triple mm. V1. Um, twist vaping with twisted four twenty has returned. Um, <laughs> his tank. Everything he does is he brought out that triple uh, parallel box. Now he's got his triple tanks. He's got the V2. So um, the honeycomb kind of airflow, all that kind of jimmy jammy. You know, slight little yeah. alt altered things. Um, for the most part, the best pass is the massive bubble glass. You can have like eight mils of juice and shit. Uh, I think it's made out of resin. So somebody in chat, if you know more about it, spit out your feedback. But I'm pretty sure it's made out of resin. Now, the form, little bubble glass. It comes with the clear one. Yeah, yeah like some. Yeah, it comes with a normal glass. Um, mm. But if you want to use the bubble glass, now I've heard things from people as far as what liquids you can put in it. So just be aware. I don't know too much about it i haven't looked too much into it but um some of the boys were saying that citrus kind of juices like quite citrusy juices can can split the glass or oh, crack the I glass or something that. like that so that could be something um 
to think about and do a bit of research and a bit of Google when it comes to it. I don't know too much about it. I don't vape citrusy type things unless I'm drinking a beer. Yeah. So it would be just something to be aware of. Um, but the Triple V2, that thing, is a flavor and cloud machine by far. If you're interested, if you like your mm. smock tanks and all that other big crazy shit, um, it's something that's yeah. like that. I, I got the V1 um, and I want the V2 for cloud comps tank mm. class. You know, because yeah. that's kind of like the epitome of the most hard hitting tank. I feel it's kind of out there. And yeah. provides flavor. Three mm. coils. Yeah. Fucking hell. Threesomes, you know, <laughs> in your tank. Threesomes in your tank. Threesomes in your tank. You know, you makes can't sense. Go wrong. It's fucking science. <laughs> science, bitch. Science, bitch. <laughs> um, and, oh, the cotton candy. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. So, <laughs> cotton, we got cotton candy. Um, everybody loves it. I've been using yeah. it lately. Um, <laughs> I normally go when I look at cotton and stuff. I, I as weird as it sounds, I smell it. I, I, I suppose <laughs> that's kind of common, but yeah. you know, I just give it a good get right in. You know, like a scratch and sniff. Oh, Ooh, no scratch and sniff. Like, scratch I smell and sniff. it. It pretty much smells closest to nothing. So if something smells yeah. closest to nothing, I'm really interested in it. So native works, I really enjoy that. Um, it's all personal preference, fam. Yeah. Everybody's got their. I love bacon pie, man. No fuck. Ooh, yeah. like this is better who gives a yeah. shit it's personal preference but people are digging yeah. cotton candy like for the most part it looks cool it's eye-catching it's, it's definitely it's definitely eye-catching eye -catching. um yeah. it looks the packaging looks sick as tits um <laughs> so you know but it's it's good cotton too yeah um so you know that's something um that's out there yeah i suppose um definitely. if you're interested in that um just google Actually, I found it hard Googling it. So maybe put it on one of the group pages and ask like, hey, who's got cotton candy? And you might find some of it out there. But I'm pretty sure I Googled it and it started coming up with like actual cotton candy. So like, you know, like <laughs> but don't the, use that. the algorithm <laughs> went bananas on me and stuff. So just just check that shit out. Um, yeah. Make sure you get your words down pat when, you, when you're looking at that cotton and stuff. Yes, most definitely. Right, next upcoming stock. We have some, some new news coming in. All right, if you do not know who this individual is and you're and you like rebuildable shit, yeah. if you do not know who this individual is, it's like, where have you been? Where have this you is been? The rock you're under. <laughs> You've been living under <laughs> a bloody rock. Yeah. Um, so we are getting in DTL coils. So whoop. We're getting in DTL coils. So it's Mr. David Laws. Um, go onto Instagram Hi. if you guys use. <laughs> go onto the NZ Coilers page, um, the group page on Facebook. Join it if you're not in it already. Keep searching until you find David Laws. Um, go onto Instagram. I think he's under DTL um, Coils, possibly. Um, just type in David Laws, and it should the algorithm yeah. should pick it up. Um, but man, his shit is sick. Um, really well-known uh coiler in new zealand amongst the coilers that are out there um he's got cool ass shit man um so we're really excited that soon we're going to have his his range uh with us you know we're pretty damn excited about it yeah and, we like, and he's a we good like cunt variety. david we love you he's, he's a real nice bloke as well he does heaps of tutorials if you're into um into coiling he does tons of tutorials over on the the uh, NZ Coil Builders um, page and that, so definitely go check it out if you're into totally making some fancy shit. I'm not on that page. I will. I will join. Um, splat juice line. Splat. Yes. Splat. 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 So, um, for everybody who's gone you to vape days, that at me. sorry, screwed it <laughs> on you. For everybody that's gone to vape days and stuff, um, no doubt you've met Camilla. Um, Camilla uh, from Get Hooked E Juice. Um, Show the bottom. Oh yeah, so that that's the get. So if you've seen these floating around with the fishy and stuff, the fishy. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's Camilla's um, juice line. So she's released another juice line, and it looks like um, from what I've seen, it looks like it's kind of broken into, um, I suppose, lines within a line. Yeah. Uh, or or kind of categories within a line and stuff, and it's called Splat. Um, so we're really excited to be getting Splat soon. Um, dirt cheap juice, you know, packed full of flavour. everyone at the Plant Me Bake Day would have probably got themselves uh, their hands yep. on a bottle. I'd I say. think a lot of people would have picked it up. Um, yeah. 
you know, really nice, colorful labels, um, good, damn good flavors. Now, yeah. check this one out, fams. Um, track you guys down where you can find it. I suppose you can just Google it. We all got access on our phones. Um, check out the split $25, 100 mil bottles. What? Mind blowing. <laughs> $25, 100 mil bottles, um, all batch coated, everything, all the bells and whistles. She goes through the full nine yards when it comes yeah. to her juice and stuff. Um, got all this kind of fancy yeah. stuff going on. We really on. want one of these little tippy things. Yeah, that th those are <laughs> bloody cool. Anyone she know where to get one? Just let us know. <laughs> yeah, PM the page. Um, but so she's released She's released the splat line. Um, yeah, man, 100, 100 mils for 25 bucks. Absolute killer. So, if, you know, you're looking for juice, um, you know, definitely check out the splat. And we're very fortunate that um, we'll be having that soon too. So yeah. we're pretty damn excited we about it. We love Camille. <laughs> Heaps of fruity flavours. There's some cheesecakes and then there's some like other ones like custards. and. Are and pina pinata? I can't remember. I had the list on me before. Yeah. I mean, yum. There's a blue raspberry one and a raspberry. Everybody one. loves oh. blue raspberry, Fuck, yeah. candies. Um, watermelons. There's a watermelons. Yeah, that's pretty sure there's a watermelons. And there's like, ah, oh, the citrus one. Yes, that's the one I like. And I don't even like citrus. Really good with beer. Any citrus baked good. Ah, beer. yes. You can pair it with a Corona. Good thinking. And that is up and coming. Stiz up. Right. Moving on. Um, Vaporium put up a blog post. Yes, so Elaborate. Vaporium's been putting up blog posts and they've been tackling some really um, uh, topical discussions in that. Uh, yeah. So I, I read through all of them. I think they're fucking, they're, they're cool. You know, yeah. there's, there's stuff Should, that, yeah. that we need to talk about. Not everybody does video format. Not everybody is quite up to play with tech. Mm -hmm. No doubt that the blog posts are going to cross over to, to the demographics. Um, the demographics in vaping is not 20 year olds by far. Um, it's, it's a lot of people that are more settled in life are the, are the true vaping community. Um, as far as, you know, the, the numbers, the, ma the majority, um, the younger people are the minority. So they'll most likely consume content in this status yeah, this form. in this form, because that's kind of like how we engage being a bit younger and that. So putting up blog posts and everything, um, you know, it's really good because it reaches all the demographics and, yeah. you know, if not into reading, you know, sure. Come check us out. We'll talk about it. So what yeah. were some of the to topics that popped up? Because we've got two that we want to talk about. Sexism. Sexism. All right. Mm. So um, there's a lot to kind of talk about. Um, harms being a female, I suppose you should yeah. crack it off and, and your kind of views. Um, talk about it as a whole, um, you know, and also the blog posts and stuff. Um, I mean, I kind of skimmed over the comments. Um, not that I feel strongly about it, but I have experienced it um, now in the vape shop. I've experienced it actually in... Um, hospitality because i'm hospital that'll life. be actually a really big one you'd get it oh hospital life i mean but yeah even even working in the shop like i i myself have experienced it and and just people just being very weird towards me but would never do that to to another dude it's it's fuzzy like i don't know if they see me as like weak or something but the, and they can speak to me like that um, I've had someone just sit there and be like, oh, well, I'll just wait for Anadu to get to the shop. I'm like, dude, he's not going to be here for like an hour and a half. I was like, oh, I'll wait. It was very strange. I've never experienced anything like that in my life, actually. I'm just liking him still. But yeah, it's, 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 it's happening. I don't, I don't understand why people were saying it, it doesn't happen. I mean, maybe you didn't see it or mm. were taking notice. I think it's hard for people to talk about it unless they're kind of experienced in that. Like, if anything happens like that and I'm around, I get furious. You know, arguably because it's harmed, it's mum, yeah. you know, <laughs> it's dad. So, you know, I it obviously touches heart. But yeah. just in general as, you know, all clouded and as all clouded grows and if we get female stuff, mm. um, the females in my family are very, very strong women. They're extremely headstrong Um <laughs> I wouldn't say the men are shitters, but I'll say <laughs> by far the women keep everything afloat. Um, yes. Harms is an extremely strong woman. Um, yeah, so strong. when if anybody treats a woman different, um, it makes me extremely upset. 
um, you know, angry, I'd say, you know, not going to cry over it, but I'm going to get pretty damn angry and stuff. So to have anything like that happen in all clouded, um, you know, I really got no time mm. for it. You know, if I hear anything, um, I do understand there's like a customer service. Level. I don't give a shit. Get the fuck out of my shop. You know, if you speak to mum like that, you know, mm. that's my kind of stance, you know. I just find it interesting that they would say it to me and not to, and never would say that to him. Like, people will walk off the street and, and go out of their way to tell me I'm a terrible person when I'm actually an, an amazing, very good person. Yeah, and, I've, and I've never had that. other people. I've never had that. Yeah. I've had plenty of people come in and challenge me um, mm. and say kind of stuff, but they... They don't challenge me in that kind of like a disrespectful mm. way. They're kind of like challenging, like, do you know your shit? You know, yeah. do you this, do you that? And then it's like, cool, let's sit down. Let's be civil about yeah. shit. Um, but as far as, you know, like I'm dumb or, or anything like that, mm. I haven't really got it. I do understand like Hams has a really good approach with people. She's extremely kind. Um, normally when the tough people jump in, um, Hams kind of kicks, uh, Hams kind of jumps in because I lock my feet in a bit, and then I'm kind of like, like it's Yu-Gi-Oh, do you want a duel, you know? <laughs> if you're going to come in and you're going to try to like battle me out or whatever, like let's have a duel, let's grab the PC, let's pull up some research, let's yeah. pull up some advocacy, let's get all of that stuff done. Yeah. And then Hamza is a more, you know, I'm like, I'll make a, coffee. a nicer let's approach to things. She's kind of, you know, this. so let's she just, normally yeah. takes over when she sees me get a bit, yeah. um, you know, but like, Ugh, you yeah. know, it's just one of those kind of things. So, uh, it's just, yeah, it's definitely out there. I think it's it's people in general. People can be yeah. annoying. What everybody well, it's not just like males. It's, it's, I'd probably say it's more female to me personally. Um, in the being sexist, but in hospital. I mean, it, it just happens. It just happens. Yeah, it's, it's like it a happens. life thing. And like yeah. we're in a community-based town, so we've got the typical thing where there's uh, tradies, freezing workers, and farmers. A lot of them are used to mum being at home and all kinds of things, and the mm. men are the macho kind of thing. So uh, most of them bond really well with Hans. They, they, you know, they come in and are, you know, and then some people they just yeah. treat a bit different. Or, or mm. if if she's saying something, they're kind of like, mm, and they hum and ha, and they're like looking at me. And then when I'm like, nah, man, she's right. Like, you know, if she's bang on the money, then they're like, oh shit, sweet, you know, it's yeah. all good. Sweet. I kind of find it weird. That um, I suppose it's yeah. we are new to kind of I suppose what's considered as retail, um, but what I do think as well with a physical brick and mortar is we're providing a service. This is a service based thing where people come in and that. So we're not just kind of sitting at the desk and what do you want and grab it and go. We're providing a service, so in turn people treat you a bit different. So they're yeah. all going through addiction. Like everybody needs to remember that. People coming into vape shops, um, they're addicts, essentially. The clientele based around vaping um, are addicts. Yeah. So they're, they're grumpy and they're coming on smokes and I'm not buying any more smokes and I haven't yeah. had one for one day and you're going to show me how to quit smoking through one puff on a vape. So they're coming in yeah. on all kinds of emotions and that. And we know that. We treat yeah. every single person differently. It's a, it's a client-based system. It, because there's a service provided, it's not retail yeah the law says it's retail we say it's a service that we're providing and stuff to our community and that so we we do get that and we try to deal with it but no doubt it's definitely out there um yeah. that type of crap or whatever because we kind of see it you know yeah so it's just one of those one of those topics about seeing it through other people's eyes mm -hmm. through his eyes essentially yeah. That's my kind of rendition on things. I mean, everybody else, you're absolutely entitled to your own opinion, um, but that's like our stance on yeah. on the whole topic and that because it obviously it, it lit up. You know, as soon as the blog post went out, everyone. Yeah, Pfft. I was I was I was more disappointed in some of the comments I was reading. It's like oh, I never, you know, people saying oh, I never see that. It's like, well, maybe your eyes aren't open to it. You know, maybe you just didn't know. Maybe you didn't see your mum getting beaten up. You know, some of us have. You yeah. know, so we treat women completely different. Yeah, it's, I mean, subjective, everyone's different. But I myself have experienced it, and I still experience I experienced it yesterday. You know, I'll probably experience it more in the next coming years, I suppose. Life. Liz I. Liz I. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Um, the type of person to 
turn them around and, and then make them she's really them. good people can come in and hate us or yeah. hate vaping or hate yeah. everything and just like no 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 and, and then just reel you in and two three weeks later they're like obsessed with us oh my god i watch your guys mm. stream i love you you know it's just kind of it's yeah just what you kind of have to do and stuff and understanding um you know how your clients are mm -hmm. how our community our vape family is yeah it is what it is um, it affects all industries. Um, you know, it's just some have hospo would have heaps of drunk people at the bar or whatever. Okay. You know, we've but got heaps of we got addicts coming in, so it's kind of like yeah. a vice versa kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, and I'm lucky that I have Anadu as well because yeah. I can like whinge to him and moan, which is yeah. barely ever. It's more him whinging to me. Hey, <laughs> he's my little baby. I'm allowed. <laughs> he's allowed. I'm allowed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, right, moving on. Um, if anyone wants to put any questions or little comments in that, we can touch on that. Yes, in the next in the show. Next set, the so next anything we're going to scroll back through, if you've got anything yeah. um, that you really want to know, um, we'll talk about it in the next show. Bring yeah. it up as a last week's show's question. Yeah, hard out. Um, clones. Cool. Yes, so there was a... So Vaporium put up a blog post on clones. So this is my viewpoint on clones. It always goes back and forth. This debate will never fucking end. This is just mm. one of those things. People support this and people don't give a shit and support this and people don't give a shit about anything and it goes back and forth and everybody leeches on each other. So this is my <laughs> viewpoint when it comes to clones. Um, I personally don't use them and I personally don't like them. Wait a minute before you attack me. Why don't I, why don't I use them or like them? Because the ones that I have had that were... Um, to go with Mets, because most of the clones is with Mets and stuff, um, they've, they've shorted on me. That's purely why I don't like using them. You might get some really good versions that don't. Unfortunately, the only ones that I have had have shorted on me, which it rings alarm bells where vaping's not that important that I'm going to lose my hand or my teeth and shit like or that. Or me. Or him. If he has no face. Yes. Then there'll be no, none of this like going that. on with streams and everything <laughs> like that. Um, I'll be that guy, you know, because I yeah. skimped and, you know, I'll yeah. be that guy that his shit blew up. And, you know, I just, a few shorts, you never touch stuff again. You learn mm. very fast. So that's my viewpoint. Now, I know plenty of people that use clones. I know plenty of people that have good clones. I know plenty of people that have the worst clones that I've ever seen in my life. And it makes me terrified. I don't even like them bringing it in the shop. So... My view point on clones, I personally don't use them. I've had bad experiences. Um, my other viewpoint on clones is when it comes to an authentic, typically, so we're talking typically, they're made a hell of a lot better. Um, you know, the threads are a lot cleaner. There's less burrs. Um, they're made in better materials. The people that generally make the um, authentics and stuff like that, they're paid accordingly. They're paid a good wage that in some form of shed and some kind of company that's been built up mm. from the bottom like a mom and pop kind of thing they've gone out on a limb they've invested a lot of money um, they've designed these mods and yeah. stuff and it's generally a damn you know top-notch thing take the price point out of the situation and everything we just delete the price point and we look at the physical product itself now when it comes to clones they're cloning the product so if if basically if you like to clone on something then you're going to absolutely love the off. That's mm. that's all I'm kind of saying, um, because the the clone will give you an idea. It'll let you kind of know, um, for the most part, ninety percent know what it feels like in the hand, what it kind of looks like, how things would look when you know it's all put together. An idea of how hard it hits, arguably, and then you kind of know that hey, I spent the twenty, thirty, whatever it costs. Now I'm prepared to spend uh, 200 plus for the auth because it's something that I really enjoy. So when it comes to picking up clones or auths, um, simply look at it in a way that if you like the clone, you're going to love the auth. If you choose to buy the auth, what you're looking at is the true representation of what the manufacturer designed. So the authentic's going to be close to it because it's a clone. Some of them are really damn close mm -hmm. and it's hard to tell the difference, but the true representation of the design is always going to be an auth because that's the people that designed it and manufactured it. And then the clones different. They've kind of bought one and then copied it, essentially. Mm. That's that's 
my viewpoint on cones. I don't take a really hard stance. I'm just like, it is what it is. The only thing I'm concerned about, because the majority of it's with METs and RDAs and stuff, is purely safety. That's my only kind of thing. I won't touch them because I've had a bad experience. And I just want anybody else that looks at getting stuff, um, just be safe, guys. Don't, you know, vaping's, vaping's mean. Like, yeah. vaping's, vaping's mean, but... It's not it's that mean, like, crazy. where you're going to lose your hand. Like, there's some point where it becomes, like, a bit of a reality check. Like, don't lose or hurt yourself oh, yeah. over vaping. That's, like, my kind of stance. Just safety first, guys. That's not bad. I don't really have a stance on clones. I'm just like, if you spent $200 a week on smokes, do yourself a treat. Stop being a stingy guy. Save that money. There it is. Put towards Stop being a tight ass. And get a bloody ass. authentic. Stop being a tight Stop ass. Stop being a tight ass. Do yourself a treat. You're allowed. You're allowed. You would have spent that on smokes. Yep, you gotta spend it on smokes. <laughs> it's you just know, like hey, stop being a ten ass and just no. just bloody do it. It's like buying rip off nikes. Just don't. Our whole vaping collection <laughs> was bought from it's our like allowance from smoking. So our allowance is like that. That's how much we spend on smokes. Boom, buy a mod or whatever. It's just crossed over, and There's we get been to keep it. A few it. couples that actually said that they do that. Like they've given up smoking and then they've divvied out their smoking yeah. money between you know their partners or whatever yeah, for and then, sure and then for sure it's just true it's the best way to get a to you know? get a, a decent collection if you look at people's collections um you know and you want situational vapes and stuff mm. cool use the money that you would have spent yeah. on smokes it's not really yeah. science yeah it's I, a bit i'd rather nutshell. authentic because i'm a fancy slut he's a fancy slut <laughs> fancy little slut i don't i don't make one but anyways yeah All right upcoming in reviews Move upcoming on. reviews we still have the haze to get out the reason why the haze isn't out already is because i had to put out a video on salt nick to give some kind of idea a lot of people are yeah. like what the frig is salt nick yeah. um so had to get the salt nick video out so that there's some kind of foundation well it's like Otherwise, if, you, if you jump into it you can revert back to the video that he'd already put out yeah about or, Saltnik, or there's so no there's no point even putting the uh, video up on salt because yeah. people are just going to be like Cool, it's another starter kit, but it runs salt neck. <laughs> salt neck. Um, and then we've also got what's next to you in the box. The Mamba. I don't know much about this. It arrived. Yes. I opened it. I don't know like, much yes, about this either. Yeah. But this got sent to us uh, from a leader. This is the Mamba kit. Uh, we're going to be doing a review on this. So they've asked for me and Hans to do the review. Um, so they said he, they like his wife. That's, yeah, they like his me. <laughs> no mate, well, what about if I'm the wife? Yeah, pretty much. They like his wife, so they want <laughs> both of us to do a video on that. So that will be coming up um in the near future. Yeah. According to time. Um and yeah. testing, you know, I've got to see kind of what's compatible, if there's any, and then give feedback and all that kind of rest. Um, but that's kind yeah. of just I suppose reviews in general. I don't really like doing reviews. Um but then yeah, I also, exactly. I review in my own time anyway, but so mm -hmm. it's just in a video format, Yeah. essentially. Yeah. I'm just like, if I don't like it, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> Jeez, isn't it? Yeah. Just... I don't know, I'll <laughs> let everybody know. Yeah, you're very, I don't like hearing people's voice. <laughs> right, anything else you want to add? Um... No, nah, I think that's about it. So we'll go back, we'll do timestamps for anybody that's just joined. Um, we'll smash all the timestamps in so you can skip sections or you can go back yeah. and rewatch at a later time. Like I said, these videos, these streams um, on YouTube and Facebook at the same time, they are focused towards everybody for the rewatch and stuff. Yeah. Um, because we a lot of views come in the rewatch. It's handy, you can watch it in your own time. So I'm going to go over on YouTube. I'm going to go over on Facebook. I'm going to put all the timestamps, mm -hmm. everything in the description so everybody can watch at their own their own kind of time. Uh, definitely, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, definitely go check it out. Dead simple. Type in all clouded in the search bar. We should mm -hmm. be the only people in there at the moment. Um, bit of a unique name. We're pretty fortunate in that. Um, That's my name. He figured it out. I figured it out. I had the dumbest names. So dumb. It was like Clouded Tower. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that one. yeah. So rude. Imagine so if rude. imagine if we were patched up clouded tower. But it's like all clouded. I think the weirdest thing was it was like a tower with a cloud and it, was, yeah, just, looked like, it just looked like a giant penis. Um 
<laughs> with a fluffy muffin that's underneath. Why. Like a giant That's pink. why he liked that's it. That's why he loved it. Like a, a like a he likes spinach. Like a giant <laughs> like a giant little tower with a fluffy muffin around it. Yeah. And then we got the bro to thing up all clouded, own symbol. Yeah. It was pretty yeah. pretty cool. Also I would just like to add if anyone has any couples challenges, we've got it we've got a two that we could think of. I'm going to try and put one out a month. If you figure, if you name a couple's challenge, you automatic, and we pick it, you're automatically in for one of the prize thingies. Yes. Whatever goes up. For. Yes. So yeah. if we put up a thing and we pick your challenge, this challenge today was um, nominated or whatever suggested to <laughs> us from Sharon um, over in Palmerston North. So, yeah. you know, boom, you there it is. Yeah, you get a prize. You, you get, get a prize. prize. Everybody you get a... gets a Prize. And then we have a one ounce for that shit. Yes. She's probably yes. going to win. No, it's redemption. <laughs> redemption. She's redemption. coming. Man, we had people coming in. We had people coming in like, that shit was rigged. <laughs> like, did you see it? He was eating it. <laughs> I demand a rematch. I like, know. like I everyone had, was I like, someone oh. someone bringing me in marshmallows. The, the chick down at the cafe put extra marshmallows in, like, on top of my coffee. And she was like, <laughs> Like yeah, everyone was like, was like quite furious about that. <laughs> so you know, everyone out there that's Mama's watching, well loved. What can I say? I'm well loved. <laughs> Every everybody that's out there watching that stuff, we'll go and not, not the so marshmallow. Ben with, Definitely not the they marshmallow like one. They disintegrated in your mouth. Like Tim knows. Hey Tim, you know, <laughs> you know what happened. Tim was one of the first ones to come in. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, nah, he's eating them. He's it's fucking rigged. eating them. It's rigged. <laughs> it's bullshit, fam. It's friggin' it's bullshit. bullshit. You should have won that. Should have won that yeah. shit. Dad yeah. cheated. Some he bullshit cheated. right there. I don't doubt that you should. I, hey. I, hey. <laughs> oh, but both people won a prize. Yes, they did. And so, regardless, did. everyone was kind of happy. And one of them was my auntie. So, I won a prize. Yeah, we're trying to help her. We're trying to help her get off. So, that's really cool. Trying to help her get off cigarettes and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. It's nice to know that your mouth is good for something. Like loading it with marshmallows. <laughs> Dave's like, nah, it wasn't rigged yet because Dave <laughs> yeah, won. Yeah, because Dave won. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's some bullshit. I ain't giving my prize back. Oh, hell Rematched, no. <laughs> Rematched. I've got a nice one for next time. Well, the two that I've, well, we thought about. Um, be quite funny. Quite good. Quite good. Very entertaining. So that about wraps up the show. Um, we'll go out on some clouds with the the signature sign off. Oh, David Law's just joined. We just had a talk about you. Yep, we just had a talk <laughs> about you, Dave. Um, we'll put timestamps up. So some clouds. Wait, you're prematurely clouded. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Premature wasn't clouded. Ready. Right there, we go. Keep it cloudy, fam. I went the wrong way again. Yeah, one more time. <laughs> Quick, one more. Use your right eye. Guy. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Do you have good life insurance? <laughs>